Blackboard training videos converting Word to HTML. The use of HTML files is important in your online course. These files are the easiest files for a web browser to open. You can create HTML files using Microsoft Word. Word allows you to save regular Word documents as HTML files. Any Word document can quickly be converted to HTML. However, you may need to change a few things in your Word document if you want your HTML file to look as much as possible like your original Word version. First, avoid using tabs and spaces to line up content. Tabs and spaces don't line up content properly in HTML. Instead, use tables to organize your content. You can also make tables invisible in Word if you don't want table lines in your files. Don't overuse line breaks. Only use line breaks when you really need them to create new paragraphs or lines. Don't use line breaks where the word wrap feature will create the break instead. This can cause some unusual line breaks in the HTML version. Don't set up bulleted lists using keyboard symbols. Instead, use the bulleted list selections in Word. These should convert to HTML lists. And then avoid using exotic fonts. Web pages don't include fonts. They only make references to them in the HTML code. In order for the font to show up on the user's computer, it will have to be on that computer. If the font's not there, the web browser will replace it with another font, usually a common one. Be aware that not all of the features in Word will translate to the HTML version. For example, you don't need headers, footers, or page numbers for an HTML file. Once you have your Word document set up properly, you can convert it to HTML. Now, um, I've got um, Office 2003 on this computer, so we'll be looking at Word 2003, but the process is fairly similar in Word 2007. Um, first of all, um, in 2003, I'm going to click um, the File menu, and then I'll click Save As. In uh, Word 2007, you click the Office button at the top uh, left corner, and then you click Save As. This is going to open the Save As dialog box. Um, the Save As dialog box, um, the next thing we want to do is we want to figure out the driver folder that we want to save the HTML file in. I'm going to save it in this one, Sample Files. Um, we're going to find the Save As type drop-down list down here at the bottom. And we'll click that and we'll scroll down until we see one of the following two choices, Web Page, uh, which is .htm or .html, or Web Page Filtered. Um, click one of those two file types. Now we recommend Web Page Filtered because this creates an HTML file that has some of the Microsoft HTML style information removed from it. it makes for a smaller, cleaner HTML file. The extension for the file should be .htm. It creates it and there it is, .htm. Um, Word will automatically add it for you when you select the proper file type. Now there is another option called single file web page. It has the extension .mht. However, uh, this type of file, even though this type of file uh, combines pictures and HTML into a single file, uh, leaving only one file to work with, you can't edit these files in the HTML creator in Blackboard. And also, uh, if you're using, or if you have students who are using um, some older web browsers, uh, sometimes these files will open a little inconsistently. So you want to be careful about using single file web page. If you don't have any graphics in your um, file, you, you wouldn't want to use them at all. And even if you do, we'll show you later how you can and use that with web page filtered. So we're going to go with web page filtered, which is what we recommend. Uh, you want to make any changes to the file name that you need to. I'm going to leave the file name training session uh, 1. Um, then I'm going to click change title up here. Uh, I'm going to type a title for the HTML file, uh, paste that in, Training Session 1 Notes. This title is useful if the file will be added to a learning module. Learning modules use the HTML title information to give the file a title in the learning module. So this will save you from having to customize the link uh, or edit the link title of the file in the learning module. Click OK. And uh, once you've got your uh, page title set up, your file name, save as type uh, to web page filtered, click Save. Now, you may get a dialog box telling you that HTML files don't uh, support certain types of Word tags or Office tags or features and asking if you want to continue. Click OK or Yes uh, when, you, when you see these uh, dialog boxes. 
and now the file is saved as an HTML file. You can tell because if you had any page breaks or anything like that, those are gone. Um, um, the borders are a little bit different as well. The margins, I should say. One other thing you'll want to be aware of, in Word 2003 and older, um, to like uh, Word 97 if you're using that software, um, when you click File, sometimes you get an option of that's, you, get, you get an option that's available called Save As Web Page. Now you can click on this, but all it does is open the Save As window, and it throws the single file web page um, option uh, in there first. If it's an older version, it may it may actually be just the web page version. Since we want to use web page or web page filtered, we'll still need to click the Save As Type drop down list and select those from there, and then the process is the same from there. Uh, so just be aware that if you use Save As Web Page you're still probably going to have to change the save as type. Once you have your Word file saved as HTML, be sure to check the file and find any changes that the different formatting may have caused. Um, you can fix the changes in Word so that the file looks as close to your original as possible. Now after making the changes, click Save, um, or File, Save, or, or um, find that or uh, office button save. Um, once you've saved the files as an HTML file, you don't have to repeat the save as a web page process. Uh, the save as and then web page filtered, etc, etc. Now you can edit your file, your HTML file in this way as well. If you open your file in Word, the HTML version, you can edit it and save the changes uh, just with a regular old save. When working with an HTML file, Word will behave like a web page editor. For example, if you're uh, making a line break and you press the enter key, um, you will get, um, well in this case I got a bullet, um, there you go, you'll get a paragraph break instead of a regular old line break. Um, and the same thing here. Um, you'll have to hold the shift key down um, and then press enter to do a, a, just a regular line break. Let me show you how that works again. There we go. Just like a web editor or just like the HTML creator. Um, Remember, you should use save to save changes to an HTML file in Word. You can use save as to change the file name or location in Word 2007. Um, you might encounter errors if you try to do save as and change the file type to a web page again in older versions of Word. I don't think 2007 will, will let you do that, but once you've saved it as a web page, you shouldn't need to do that process again. Just use save um, to save your changes and save as if you need to change the file name or location. Once you have converted the Word file to HTML, you can use Upload Files in the Files and the Control Panel to upload the file to your class files. In the Control Panel, click Files, then click the name of your course. Then, go to the proper folder you want to upload your file. And in the, pro the, the, the proper folder, go to Upload and Upload Files. In the Upload Files, you have two methods you can use to upload the file. You can go with single files, so you can upload one file at a time. Or you can go with multiple files. For the multiple file, with the drag and drop functionality, you can move, you can upload a folder of multiple files at a time. For this exam, we want to go back with the single file. Then let's go browse. Let's go and find out find out the the exact document we're looking for for this for this example, we're looking for the HTML file. Let's go find the, the document with .htm means this is the HTML file. If you are confused about which document you're looking for, you go to see the icon. The icon usually is the Word document with a little glob. It means this is the HTML file. You can go double click or go you click and you click open. In the dialog box, you will see the file with the dot .htm, means that this is the HTML file. Click Submit. In your folder, you will see the file you just uploaded. Please check about the file type. And this file we're looking for is HTM, means this file we just uploaded is the HTML file. 